Thousands of people have gathered across Australia and New Zealand to honor military personnel on Anzac Day, a year after the COVID-19 pandemic forced people to commemorate privately in driveways and on balconies. Across the Tasman Sea in both Australia and New Zealand, wreaths were laid at a dawn service to commemorate Anzac Day. Of veterans and their families. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern thanked both men and women who had served the country. Each name here and on memorials dotted up and down Aotearoa New Zealand represents a death that brought grief and anguish to homes, families and communities. Across the generations, war has taken a grievous toll for both what it is and for what it leaves behind. In Australia, Prime Minister Scott Morrison also marked the sacrifices of all troops in conflict. Anzac Day commemorates the bloody battle on the Gallipoli Peninsula in Turkey during World War I. <laughs> Thousands of troops from both countries were among a larger Allied force that landed on the narrow beaches of the Gallipoli Peninsula in a campaign that claimed more than 130,000 lives. This year's anniversary saw a return for some public festivities after the global health crisis cancelled many traditional events last year and kept many people from gathering to commemorate. Although ceremonies were cancelled in some cities this year, in Sydney, thousands of people lined the streets and waved Australian flags as veterans saluted and marched in the annual parade. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.